Hi, Andrew Kempfe here with Better Sheets, helping you make better Google Sheets every single day. Welcome. Before we start this video, I want to tell you two things. One, I want to invite you to the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash I love Google Sheets, no spaces, which is mentioned in this video. I also want to invite you to become a free Better Sheets member. Go to bettersheets.co. You can get a free membership today. This video was made available to members first before dropping here on YouTube. Thanks and enjoy the video. Hello, welcome. Today's question comes from the Facebook group I love, Google Sheets, which is run by me and bettersheets.co. Uh, you can join I love Google Sheets for free. It's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash I love Google Sheets. And you can either share sheets you're working on or questions like these get your answer. So what Elizabeth is doing here is she's got a drop down list of, I guess, subjects. And she's trying to create a little schedule inside of Google Sheets. And once, once you select the prop, the class, show an image. So here she says uh, in B2 is a drop down menu, English. And in B3, she wants the contents of A12. So there's a couple of things going on here. Um, one is she's using a hidden row, which I strongly recommend not to do. Uh, hidden rows and hidden columns are a little bit of a pet peeve of mine because of this. Every single time that you hide a row or hide a column, you cannot note what is hidden, nor will anyone else know what is hidden. So if you share that sheet with someone, the very first thing they'll do is they'll see that there's a hidden row or a hidden column and unhide it and then see what's there and then hide it again because they're like, oh, I need to hide this. Or they won't remember to hide it. So what I always recommend is if you ever find yourself needing to hide rows or hide columns, you probably want to put that information on another sheet. Now, the fact that Google Sheets has the ability to hide columns and hide rows is totally okay. I, I, I imagine there are use cases for it. But 100% of the time that I've ever seen a hidden row or a hidden column, I unhide it, I look at it, then I hide it again, and it's a complete waste of time. Uh, what you can do is take that information, put it on a separate tab or a separate sheet. And so we'll do that uh, first. We'll also, as one of the parts of this answer, um, but first I want to go through the dropdown, which she actually got the dropdown done. Um, but I just want to show in this answer that one way to do a dropdown is to do a range of cells. And that's what we're going to do so we can make it uh, easy to do. All right, let's do a dropdown. So I only saw in her question English, so I'm going to make up a, some other um, uh, some other subjects here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this list of potential subjects on a separate page. I did call it images, but you'll see why in a second. So I have English, study, um, and math. We'll, we'll do those. So there might be a study session, an English session, and a math session. We're going to go back to our first sheet. We're going to right click, view more cell actions, data validation, list from a range. Now this is what comes up normally. And I use this a lot. We'll just select the range manually. Uh, I'm going to include some extra column uh, rows here because I want to make sure if you ever want to add any uh, subjects, you can easily do that. You don't have to go back and redo this range right here. We'll add some more. We probably don't have more than 10 subjects. And so now we have English available. We also have study. And we can then copy and paste this to Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, the next thing is we need to put in B3 here, an image. Now, what image are we gonna do? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab uh, a few images and I'm gonna insert them into the cell. So I will insert here, image, in cell. I'm gonna upload, uh, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna upload some, actually, no, we won't even do that. We'll do, we'll just find them here but I will pause the video because it might take a while. Okay, so I found some Google search image results here from images. I can't really tell what these images are. So here's one th way to do that, to make that better. So we're gonna resize these rows. Actually, I think we need to select the row. Right, so I'm gonna select the entire row. 
and resize rows, we're going to resize it to 60, three times as much. So we can see the image a little bit better. And the text is in column A, the image is in column B. We're going to go back to our sheet one. And in this B3, we're going to do VLOOKUP. Search key is going to be B2, so we're going to just click there. Our range that we're looking in is images uh, sheet, or the tab images, exclamation point, and we're looking in A colon B. We want the range of both of those columns in the images sheet. Now the index is going to be two because we want to get the second column. And is it sorted? I always put false here. And now we have an image. And again, we just need to go to three, five, and seven, and we're gonna increase the size of this. And then when we have an image, we can then take this entire uh, cell, command C, copy, and paste it in B5. Now the only thing that changes is the B4, and here in B7, I'm gonna paste it again, and the B6, see that B6 changes to show that it's this column, or sorry, this cell. So if we do study, the image changes. If we do math, the image changes. And now we have a pretty cool weekly planner with images based on the drop-down selection that we have. One roadblock you might get into or one challenge you might end up with is if you insert cell, uh, insert the image over the cell, you won't be able to address that B1 on this sheet or on images is an image and it won't transfer over. If you want to replace the image, say like this math one doesn't do well, right? Like we, we can't really tell or this study one we want to replace. Uh, we can go to this cell we are going to insert image, image in cell. Let's pick another Google image search, English class. Maybe we want a happy person. And now let's go back to our sheet one and see that updated. Isn't that cool? So we can replace these images as we need to. If we want to add more uh, subjects, maybe we want science. If we spell science correctly, we can do science. And let's insert an image again. Let's look for science class. Yeah, this is good. Just double click on that. I'm going to increase the size of this so we can see it. Now go back to our sheet and say we want to add a Thursday. And we have science here in our drop down already. All we have to do is copy and paste this cell and we have the science image. And if we say, oh, we don't want English first, we want science first. There we go. We got science and we have English. There we go. Um, this is a, a possibility. Because our drop downs, as we did before, view more actions, data validation, list from a range, because we did to 10. We can also do just the entire row. We can even just take the numbers out and say images A to A, save that. And we can paste this um, data validation. And now, no matter where we are on the sheet, we should be able to add another thing. So math. Two, Let's see if that happens. There we go, math two. So we might have up to a thousand or 10,000 subjects, maybe. Uh, you might be able to rename them. One thing that might happen though, is if you have the same name, science and science, and let's say we have this image as well there for science, and you put in science and you're like, oh, science, look there, it didn't add another science because what the data validation is doing is looking at the amount of options and picking out its unique. So it's looking at the unique ones that exist. So we cannot add science, 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 and have five different photos and select the photo. We need to assign this a completely different name, science two, science three, biology. And now we can select that out of the data validation on our drop down menu. Now it shows up. So those are some issues you might run into with this solution. 
Um, also make sure that the uh, formula here, VLOOKUP, it always uses the first co uh, column as its index, basically index one. It always, or it always uses that as the left unique options. So um, image is A to B. We can also do index match. Let me show, try to show you that real quick here. We can do that as well. There's another option, index. We want uh, images B to B, comma, and we want to match. The search key will be this uh, drop down menu. The same thing we're doing as we're looking at the VLOOKUP key. And what are we matching? We're matching images A colon A. Our search type here is zero, end parentheses, and we get the same exact thing. We can select uh, English, we can select study, and it changes that. So also index match, I like a lot more because you have a little bit more control over it. You can actually change this. Say you have images first, let's do that. Let's just make the images first and the text second. All of the VLOOKUP will be broken. You cannot use a VLOOKUP, but index match actually, once you set it, actually magically changes. Um, so you can move this stuff around. And you can still use index match for these as well. So we can change this to, let's say, English. There we go. So index match, I like a lot more. I hope you got a lot out of this video from uh, I Love Google Sheets. If you want to join, feel free to join uh, our Facebook group, I Love Google Sheets. Thanks. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please join us on the Facebook group, I Love Google Sheets. And I hope you know something more about Google Sheets today. Don't make any sheets, make better sheets.